Sup my lovely bushes, welcome to another TGN anime video today, we're back with Black Clover Quartet Knights. We're gearing up for the next open beta which is coming this Friday, yes there is an open beta coming so so soon. And as we get ready we're gonna explore some of the abilities, some of the characters that uh, were in the previous closed beta because apparently there are gonna be 13 characters in this one plus one more. And this previous closed beta already had 13 characters so I'm pretty sure they're gonna be the same plus the bonus character. Now I've seen your requests in the comments, you guys want some yummy gameplay. I don't have any good Yami gameplay, so that's one of the things that I'm gonna fix this weekend. I'm gonna record some good Yami matches. In the meantime, last time we looked at Asta, we broke down his abilities, then we commentated some matches. If you missed that video, check it out right here. Today, we're gonna talk about his best friend and rival, you know. So let's start by looking at his abilities. First up, we have his basic attack, the Wind Blade Shower. First, you press R2 and some blades come up right in front of Yuno, and then you continuously hold down the button to shoot all the Wind Blades. You load up with 15 blades and uh, once you shoot them out you will have a short reload time before you can shoot again. Every time you hit with one of these abilities you will be reducing your bow ability or your tornado ability which we'll talk in a second. Next, the crescent moon cycle, probably you know's worst ability. It's an horizontal wind attack, you know, it, it catches a good area. It's a good range but it's not infinite, which means it, it can't be used as like a sniping ability and if it hits enemies it staggers them and reduces the cooldown again on your tornado and your bow abilities. Person Personally, I don't see a lot of point for this. Maybe it's something that you can use while you cover your reload of the Windblade Shower, but I personally don't see a lot of uses for the Crescent Moon Cycle. Or Sickle. Mmm, I don't speak magic. Anyway, the Swift White Bow is the next ability we're gonna look at. Yuno equips a bow, and for a set time, instead of shooting the Windblade Showers that we looked at, he will shoot piercing wind arrows at enemies. So, this will make your R2 attacks deal more damage, but also the rate of fire is a lot slower. While the wind blades kind of shoot very fast, it's the timing of a shotgun. It's like a bam, 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 bam. Instead of like going like. Doo, 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 doo. Kind of like that. Finally, we have one of his best abilities. Oh, I love this one so much. The Towering Tornado. You place down a large tornado that sucks enemies in and then knocks them down. This thing has a lot of range. For how powerful this ability is, this thing has a lot of range and you can just place it down anywhere and the tornado just comes out of the ground, knocks everyone on their ass. Perfect for follow-up attacks. And if you link it with someone else, this becomes the Tornado Fang, which is basically the same, but it's a horizontal tornado instead of a vertical one. Then we have... His ultimate ability, Sylph's Breath. It's a lot of wind. It's a lot of horizontal wind that comes your way. If you're on the receiving end of this, it, it looks super, super scary. Also, something that is super specific to this ultimate. Uh, you know how you charge up your ultimate and then the ultimate is just kind of sitting there waiting for you to use it and you're not charging any more ultimate because your gauge is already full. With you know, you can overcharge your ultimate magic gauge up to 200%. Once it fills up, it starts filling up again with that bright yellow and once you reach 200% your ultimate actually gets stronger. So holding on to your ultimate might actually be a good thing uh, in uh, in some cases. Yuno's got two more abilities that are important to look at. First he can zoom in with circle which increases the effectiveness of his windblade shower but I must say even at long distances the windblade shower has uh, some pretty good aim assist. Which I don't think it's super necessary but hey if you can zoom in then apparently the effectiveness is better. And then he's got something super important. Do not forget that Yuno has this. It's great for maneuverability, for dodging attacks, for just getting to places faster, and that's the mid-air dash. You press X while in the air, and you just kind of air dash. You have three charges, they recharge pretty fast, so make sure you remember that you have this. Again, it's just so great for repositioning yourself and dodging enemy attacks. Because Yuno's playstyle is that of a ranged character. Yuno has a lot of ranged attacks, and it's kind of squishy. If, uh, a melee character gets close to you like a Yami or a, a, an Asta, you're going down pretty, pretty quick. And that's where this mid-air dash comes into play. So, so you can jump and reposition yourself and move away from those characters and attack them from a distance. Because if you're trying to aim your wind blades while you're getting hit by swords, guess what? Things are not going to go great for you. And that's kind of a, a look at his abilities and his general playstyle. With that, let's look at a, at a match and uh, see all this stuff in action. We are here in the ice map where we have to capture a crystal and then carry the crystal all the way to enemy base. It's that game mode, which name I forgot. Push the crystal? Is that the name of the game? Mm, I forget. 
Anyway, air dash is pretty useful for getting into position early. Uh, so we're trying to rush the crystal, and they've got a luck character. Who else do they have? Tornado completely misses there. I see another character in the back, hard to see. I think I saw some lasers. Yep, there are some mirrors. We know who that is. And uh, yeah, this luck character is getting a bit closer than he should. Now, woof, woof, woof. The laser beam really, really hurt us. Really hurt us. Uh, again, you know, is kind of squishy. This is a bad round start for sure. Uh, let's pick up, pick back the pace. Because uh, uh, the enemy just captured the crystal. We need to stop them from moving. Because uh, th the longer they carry the crystal, the harder it will be for us after the reset. So there's a luck right next to us. I don't even need to worry about that because he's too close and Asa is dealing with him. Uh, then Asa turned to Yami and that link attack was just beautiful. This is where we should be. We're taking cover behind the crystal whenever we need to. And we've, we're using Yuno's long range to its full effectiveness. We summoned the bow here, and unfortunately we don't see any targets. There's one. There's one. Shoot that guy. Alright. Uh, unfortunately the bow ran out. Tornado is so good for controlling the zone. Uh, so let's do it right here. Hey, luck. Hold this. Hey, hey. My god, that tornado is awesome. Luck still on our ass. We need to deal with this guy. All right, we got our own luck helping us out now. Yep, definitely grab the herbs. Uh, Yuno is very squishy, very, very squishy, so having healing there is going to help us a lot. I'm pretty sure that's not what I meant to do, but the crystal was on the way, so I can target my, my real target there. Luck is diving way too much. He's got very, very good ranged attacks, so he shouldn't be uh, as close to us as possible. He's kind of committing suicide there. Just aiming the tornado, getting ready, getting ready. Oh, two targets. Mmm, mmm. Tornado so good. Tornado so delicious. Oh, me like it. That's a triple down. Come on, just one more. Just one more. It's a 4v1. We can get it. There's also some enemy tornadoes popping in here and there, but I still haven't seen the enemy, you know. I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. No. No, that's not him. That's a Yami. Okay. And Yami, you just came into a 1v4. Quadra kill! And we're doing a great job of holding the holding them back here. Every time there's a, a flanking uh, attempt, my team is on it. And I'm kind of just focusing down this corridor and preventing anyone from moving forward there. There's a link attack. That, uh, I, I have no idea where the luck went. I'm, I bet he's gonna try to flank me again. In the meantime, I'm gonna worry about the targets in front of me. Summon the bow. Targets down. And there he is. There he is. Hold this. God, this tornado is so good. Long range, close range, does not matter. Asta comes in with the support. And down goes luck. The crystal has reset, finally, and because we did such a great job of holding the crystal in place, now we only have to carry it that far to win the match. Which is not at all. A lot. We finally go down, now that we left the safe protection of our crystal. Uh, but uh, the crystal is moving well. Actually, our team is uh, falling now pretty hard, so we're ne gonna need one final push at least to, to get this. The magic item is at 99% oh, towards their team. Why didn't they grab the buff? That's, that's a weird one. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know which one of you is the real one. So how about I hit you both with my tornado? Mm. And that you know is just going to watch us carry this crystal to victory. So as you can see, the, the match didn't start great for us, but with Yuno using his range to his advantage, he was able to protect, I mean, along with his team, obviously, was able to protect the crystal, preventing from moving forward, giving our team an easy win after the reset. And that's how you play Yuno. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to try to get some good Yami gameplay this weekend. But other than that, who would you like to see in a future video? Eventually, I want to do a breakdown for every character and show you a good match for every character so you get an idea of how to 
to play everyone but hey you guys get to participate in the order that i do things so who you want to see next let me know in those comments down below if you like what you see on this channel you're gonna love what we do behind the scenes check out patreon and how you can support us right here like these top supporters on my left thank you so much for your support but as always thank you very much for watching my name is globku and i'll see you guys next time boy